Good morning, Stewart Creek Elementary. My name is Amber Hoagland. And I am Jamie Atkins. These are the announcements for Tuesday, March 30th, 2010. For the weather today, there will be partly cloudy skies and a high of 66 degrees Fahrenheit. In the cafeteria today, we will be having oven-baked chicken tenders, barbecue, whole kernel corn, steamed broccoli cuts, macaroni and cheese, and fruit. Today, we are on the A-Day schedule for Related Arts. I want to remind you that there is no open library while the book fair is taking place. Thank you, Ms. Kim, for announcing our birthdays for the day. Again, we hope you have a spectacular day. Remind, remind your parents that parent-teacher conferences are today as well as parent night at the book fair. And other news is box top time again and at Stewart's Creek. That's right. If your class collects the most box tops during the whole month of April, then you could win either Miss Tucker for the kindergarten or first and first or second classes or third grade. Fourth and fifth you could win a classroom visit from Officer Nelson. The deadline is April thirtieth, so be on the lookout for box off tops. Dig them out of the trash if you have to. This week's question from is from Lorena Cruz. If you were to put the planets in alphabetical order, which planet would be first and which would be last? On a slip of paper, write the answer, your first and last name, and place it in to the container next to the mural. That's all the news for today. Remember to work hard and try your best. Have a great day. Stay tuned for a book fair commercial. You don't want to miss this. Bye. Good morning, Stewart's Creek faculty and students. It's your data-driven principal, Mr. Zago. Good morning, my Stewart's Creek family. It's your pickle pop making assistant principal, Ms. Tucker. We have some very important information about the book fair this morning. Teachers, it's that time of year again. The book fair is here. This year, more than ever, it is imperative you have a plan for all students and their book fair needs. Do you have a written plan for students that need to go to the book fair once? Do you have a plan for those students that may need to go to the book fair more than once? Can you get a team member for a book fair double dosing? Are you conducting your book fair interventions and assessments in a timely manner? <laughs> you may need to review their spending from last year. Will they show growth? <laughs> Will our AYP or annual yearly purchasing for the book fair be in the green? These are imperative at this point in the school year. These written plans need to be in your PLC notebooks. Team leaders, check your email. I've sent out a spreadsheet that compares our school's book fair attendance with other schools in the county. Where did your grade level rank? The all, this only pertains to third, fourth, and fifth grade. K, one and two, continue to prepare your students for book fair success as I know you will. Be prepared to discuss this in our Thursday PLC meeting. And after your notebooks are complete, I suggest you check out Doobie Doobie Moo. I like cows. Oh, God. Okay, teachers. 
Um, Ms. Hines and I have been working very hard on assuring student data is correct for the book fair this year. So you're going to be giving several sheets, and I have examples for you, and I have highlighters as well. Um, on the first sheet, teachers, you're going to want to check each student's ID and their birth date, okay? And then after you check, you're going to highlight right here in green, in green. As you can see, teachers, I've done that right here for you. And then after you make sure of that, you're going to then get with a friend and highlight in yellow, teachers. You're going to highlight in yellow right here, as you can see. Um, actually, it's pink. <laughs> Whoops. It's pink. I'm so confused, all these highlighters. <laughs> pink. Um, you're going to want to do that. <laughs> then, <clears throat> on your final, it's final okay, copy. Tucker. I know. It is. Okay. So many highlighters. On your final, final copy here, you can tell there's lots of colors. You need to put an orange dot. <laughs> By the kids, um, Tucker, I can't tell. <laughs> Tucker, I just got a really good deal on 40 new towels. You did great. I have a new deal on highlighters. <laughs> highlighters. And then, teachers, if you Don't want, forget to sign it. Sign it twice. And twice and three checks. Yes. Say. And then, teachers, if you want to get a book, M is for mom. Teachers, it's very, um, it's a very great, great read. Teachers, that'll be good for you. This is not something. Okay, it's your turn. Mm -hmm. um, teachers, also, I forgot to tell you, I um, am not willing to wear stripes, teachers, if we don't highlight and put dots um, by the correct students. Okay, so we're not going to wear stripes for this, teachers. Students, be sure to, to do your best when visiting the book fair this week. We are all accountable for book fair success. Yes, we are.